Uh, hey man, what you doing? Oh, I'm maxing out all my credit cards. Then I'm going to go apply for four or five more. Max those out, miss the first few payments for them all. Then I'm going to apply for a new car loan and make sure that they do a hard pull on my credit. None of that soft pull garbage. Um, why would you do that? Isn't that like terrible for your credit score? Exactly. I think I'm finally ready to start house hunting and I'm doing my prep work. But if you have a bad credit score, won't that give you a higher interest rate on your loan? Not anymore. I read somewhere that people with bad credit scores now get lower rates than people with good credit scores. And the extra risk that the lenders take on me is paid for by the people with the good credit scores. They aren't going to catch me with a good credit score. <laughs> Sticking it to the man. This is kind of fun. Um, I think you might want to double check on that. Hey guys, it's Austin Beer with Snyder Strategy Realty, and this is a topic we've gotten a lot of questions about over the last month and a half. Back in January, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac announced that they were going to be changing their loan fee schedule. This was not out of the norm, and you probably didn't hear anything about it until about a few months ago when it became clear that fees would be increasing for borrowers with good credit and they would be decreasing for borrowers with bad credit. Now, for those of you who don't know, historically, your credit score, as your credit score goes up, your rates go down. And as credit score goes down, your rates go up. This is to incentivize borrowers to pay their bills on time and to be good stewards of their money. So whenever the news of the new loan schedule came out, people started freaking out. There were articles and videos everywhere saying that this is going to incentivize people to drop their credit score in order to get a better interest rate. And this was going to lead to a lot of bad loans like we had in 08, and that was going to lead to another market crash. But I'm happy to inform you that this is not the case. Fees have risen slightly for people with good credit, and they have decreased for those with bad credit but not to the extreme that many assumed was, was going to happen. I can assure you that if you are applying for a mortgage, it is still in your best interest to have good credit and that good credit will give you a lower interest rate. A quick example of this is if you were buying a home for $250,000 with an 80% down payment, if you locked in an interest rate of 6.25 with a credit score of 750, a person in that same situation with a credit score of 640 would have an interest rate of 6.75. So. Be wise with your money and don't go tanking your credit score in the hopes of getting a better interest rate on a mortgage.